Patrick, I want to put myself in the position of someone that doesn't have maybe a Tornos machine, and I want to find out what the Tysis software could do for me. Could you give me a very brief overview of what the software does? Okay, uh, the Tysis software programs for you the machines, and also you can have the monitoring information directly on it. Okay, so it, it programs the machine, so you can use this as almost like your, your generator of code. Exactly, you can generate ISO code directly from this software and transfer it to the machine. Okay, let's look at the transferring of it to the machine and the machine actually in process. Can you maybe go to a screen where it shows us uh, the machine tool in operation and talk us through this? Okay, this is the main uh, monitoring information. When you select a machine, you can see uh, which, time of, uh, which type of machine is it, the length status, the name of the machine, production information, remaining time on the production, last part time, feed override information, spindle override information, and the status of the machine. The machine is in edit mode, we have an emergency, and the bar feeder is activated. It, it may seem like a crazy question, but wh why would an engineer want this? What's it going to do for him? Uh, you can use this uh, screen uh, to, to see the status of the machine uh, directly on it, uh, not go on the machine and see it on the screen when you are at home or in your office. So basically, though, you're, you're able to monitor what's happening in the machine, how many parts you're making, and, and therefore, really, you can, I, I assume, an analyse and make sure you're getting the best out of your machine. Is that the principle? Exactly. This is the principle to do uh, this kind of information back to the machine. Uh, you, you said about sitting at home, maybe looking at this. Does that mean, I'm sure it does, because I can see it on the tablet there, it means it's, it's accessible via tablet, via phone? Exactly. Uh, when you are in the factory, uh, you can see this information also with the TizisNet option that we delivered two years ago. You can see also the information directly at home and receive push notification when the machine is stopped. So take me on to the next screen. Okay, um, we are connected to the machines and we collect a lot of information. And we can also show in this screen what happened on the machines. We can select a day and we can see how the machine was working during this day. In the green, you have the productivity time. In red, an alarm. In green, the machine was stopped. In yellow, during the setup time. And we can show all this information in this screen, also connected to the work order session that we can do on the machine. Explain that in a bit more detail. The work order is given by uh, the production information. That means the machine will work on a product on work order. And you can see in this screen, which work order is active and which machine is working on this work order. Okay, and the idea really is you want as much green as possible, I see. Exactly. Yes, you see here I select a machine and you see the productivity efficiency of this machine is 85%. We have uh, pre eating mode uh, 3%, setup 5%, and so on and so on. Okay, H how does this work with Industry 4? We are exactly in this uh, way of Industry 4.0. The machines collect us a lot of information and can give this information to another system like RFP, SRP, MS system. Um, and what would, you, what would that do then? That would, you know, t tell me about that once you've got that information. The goal also with uh, Industry 4.0 eh, is to connect the machine to our system and the system can give also the part program to the machine. So we are really connected to another system and send and receive information from this system. Um, um, I, when I look at this, I start thinking about service. How does it tie in with your service department? Does it make you a lot more uh, efficient there as well? Yes, uh, with this kind of function, we can uh, send information to our service and the service can show how the machine works, if it's stopped or not, and uh, to, to be... Uh, can you identify where problems are? Exactly, when you have the alarm list, you can see which uh, problem is on the machine. And in terms of the purchase of this type of software, do you just buy it as one module or do you uh, kind of upgrade it to, to different modules? How does that work? Uh, we have different models, uh, uh, for sure. Uh, we have the programming module. This is the base of the system, the connectivity pack for the connection to the network, uh, and different models for Industry 4.0, for uh, cloud connection, uh, service uh, interpretation, and so on and so on. Now, I know we've only touched on a, on a few points, and there's a lot more to this, and of course, uh, engineers can talk to their local uh, Tornos um, representatives to find out more. But for me to summarise, uh, and I'm hopefully correct in this, this sort of software would analyse the machines, it would make me see how efficient I am, but not necessarily just that, it would help me drill down to see where any problems may lie and how I can basically get the best out of the machines that I've purchased. Is that a good analysis? It's exactly that. Exactly.